We hope to continue having them until the last day that will be the 10th of December. We also expect to have both medical and legal aid camp. As we do the medical, we shall also have uh, a legal camp whereby we have GBV survivors who may or may not have been helped and they really need our support. We are going to have that legal, uh, legal camp that will enable whoever has an issue to at least be heard or be referred to maybe a better office than can, that can offer support. Uh, last year we had uh, one of the one of the, the partners uh, built for us a safe space for GBV for GBV survivors, and this safe space we intend to brand it so that it can sound more. It can sound more as a GBV uh, safe shelter. One, uh, we have to paint it in orange because the colours for the 16 days of activism is orange. So, indicating solidarity. So we have to keep on reminding the public, especially around Namakwekwe, where this, uh, this, shed, this shed was constructed, so that the mothers can always come and discuss their issues that they face in the community. Then we, <coughs> we also intend to meet the teenage girls, the young mothers, and advise them on issues of breastfeeding and advise them also on their rights and responsibilities. We have a lot of girls out there that have gotten pregnant and they don't know that they were still children. So we need to sensitize them or in any case we can even open new cases where such cases were not reported encourage them to have such cases reported and see a way forward. Uh, thank you so much. I think that is all that I can add. Um, I hope maybe other members have some. Uh, I'm also adding a voice to the seniors about the 16 days of activism. Out there as we go, for the sensitizations and the drives, we intend to reach those ladies, the mamas outside there, who may have feared to reach the police and present their cases, even to our probation officers. At that level, we intend to interact with those ladies. Some of them may be shy to talk about what has happened to them, but we intend when we are outside there, at that level, to interact with them one-on-one -on -one and share and help them and see how they can come and bring out their issues. So that is basically what we are going to do. And during those drives, uh, we, we believe that we shall be able to pull out those numbers of those people who fear to come and speak something for themselves at the police level. Thank you so much. Uh, first of all, we would like to, uh, just as an addition to what my colleagues have said, ours here is basically to, to amplify the voice. Uh, we, these 16 days are basically uh, to amplify the voice against uh, violence, against women, gender-based violence against women and, the, and, and, and girls. But this is the week, these 16 days are for alarming. We are alarming that this practice of gender based violence against women and violence against the girl child must stop. It starts with you and me, and we are all out there. We all have uh, a responsibility to play, and that we should use these 16 days and even beyond to continue to amplify uh, the voices of the victims of such violence. Many of them have kept quiet. Where you see our caravans, we may not necessarily be in all places at the same time, but like according to the program, as my colleagues will continue to share, when we are in your area, we are going to identify the gray areas. We have gray areas within the city which are really ranking high with gender-based violence uh, cases. 
Some of these places include Bukonde. Some of these places include mm -hmm. Nakaroke, Nawio. These are gray areas where there is excessive gender-based violence. So we intend to pitch camp in these places and we'll be able to carry out all the mentioned activities by colleagues. Among them, of course, we shall also do HIV AIDS testing. This is going to be available at every point of our activity centers. HIV AIDS and screening is going to be one of the activities, plus the other activities that colleagues talked about, of course, including the legal aid uh, support. There will be teams which will be positioned where we shall be, where we are implementing the various activities that will also add on to talk to the victims of gender-based violence. Those that will require legal support, please don't fear or don't hesitate to come. We have so many of our colleagues who are available and willing to offer legal support. Many of these victims don't come out because they don't have anybody who is going to support them when they, cho when they chose to take the legal path of having been victimized. So we encourage all of us, we call upon the public, especially the victims, don't just sit back there and keep quiet. Please come. You could be a parent to a gender-based violence victim. Your child may fail to speak out, mm -hmm. but you as the parent, please come out. You as the guardian, you as the relative, please come out and let us offer support to the victims of gender-based violence, especially the women and the girl child.